Dr. Bian's constant ability to heal up his teammates might be the ultimate counter for Ogron. Now this might sound crazy but you can clearly see what's happening right here. We were able to nullify Ogron's damage by a lot. Now you guys might think that it's crazy to think like that but look at this. Look at this instance. We have Charlotte, uh, Liu Shan and myself attacking uh, Ogron and you see that he hasn't dealt any damage at all to Charlotte and again now the rest of the enemy team is fighting and Charlotte is still alive with 5 stacks finally she goes down look at my HP and the HP of our Liu Shan is 2 vs 3 and the healing just comes in clutch Liu Shan is still alive and I am like really good I'm not, I'm not just alive I have a lot of HP as well so overall uh, I would say that it is actually a very good pick against Ogron. Now considering the fact that Ogron is broken and Dr. Bian is a pretty weak hero, you can't expect to completely destroy him. It doesn't work like that. Uh, it is a broken hero. Don't forget that. So this is a very good pick against him. Not necessarily, uh, not necessarily like a, a pick that can completely destroy Ogron because he is not a hero that can be easily destroyed. Again look at this, he is trying to deal damage to both me and Liu Shan but the healing, but the healing just, that's the proof for you guys. That is enough proof that this guy is very good against uh, um, Ogran. You saw that he tried his best but he was not able to kill me because of how much I was able to heal up and I am at full HP again. So yeah, uh, make sure to watch the video till the end and uh, Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm playing Dr. Bian and we have Heino and Ogran in the opponent. Of course, if you are going standard, we will never have a match without both of them. And... I did play two matches with Dr. Bian and I can confidently say that he absolutely hard counters uh, Ogron. Now Ogron is an overpowered hero. Having that into consideration and having consider uh, like considering Dr. Bian who is a weak hero as well, uh, like we should have some concession points for uh, Dr. Bian here even though he is pretty weak. My point here is that he is very good against uh, Ogron. Now let me explain why I think like that. Uh, Dr. Bian is a very consistent healer while Ogron is a consistent damage dealer and also people tend to build Ogron full tank build which means that his damage output will be really low and I have found it out that it is low enough for Dr. Bian to constantly heal up. Now in the early game it's a completely different case and also with a network like this it is a different case but once we get into the mid game and uh, the late game we are going to be really strong. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my network connection right now. Let me turn on Wi-Fi. Let me turn on Wi-Fi. Okay, so uh, coming back to what I was saying. Um, uh, the FPS drop when it switches network sucks. Okay, okay, hey no, okay, hey no, I see you, I see you. Alright, so uh, coming back to my point. Since Tanky Ogran doesn't deal too much damage and since Dr. Bian's healing is really high, you will be able to easily out damage, uh, out heal Ogron's damage and I will be able to show it to you guys in this match. Let's try to get to the, the late game and then I should be able to show it. Okay, so um, this guy recently got a rework and after that rework he has been able to uh, deal more damage in the mid game more healing as well and more uh, damage and healing in the late game but they have made it so that he is not as strong as he was in the early game before now this this hero has always been a very strong early pick uh, ever since aov days but nowadays it's not the case they have made it so that he is kinda like every other mage in the early game not really strong but the mid game and the late game are really really good and it's worth it uh, trust me guys i would never play a hero uh, like Dr. Bian, you know that, right? I only go for heroes that have like at least decent mobility. But this guy doesn't have that. But against Ogron, I am telling you, he 100% works. And hopefully I'll be able to showcase it to you guys in this match. Okay, let me just go back. I need mana. 
I don't have the mana equipment yet and I'm going to buy Venomous Staff as the third item to further counter Haino and uh, Ogron. Okay, Ogron depends a lot on his healing. So I'm going to get, after I get the Holy Grail, like 1000 more gold needed for Holy Grail and once I get it, I will go for uh, the next item as Venomous Staff just to counter the healing of Haino and Ogron, both the overpowered heroes. Okay, let's get this and let's go. Our team is doing very good right now. We have an Ogron too, so it's a no-brainer. Okay, marking enemies. Okay, I, I don't died. Okay, let's heal. Let's heal up as much as possible. Okay, nice. We got the kill. We got the kill. Uh, we weren't even like close there, but we still got the kill. Okay, our Agron is engaging. He wasn't able to get anything there, but it's okay. We can go back to our lane. The minions are crashing there. Let's just do this once and then let's go. Okay, so after clearing this, I think I have... Okay, I think I'll get the Holy Grail after I clear this, so I should not need to go all the way back to the altar again hopefully yeah i got it okay now that i've got the holy grail i i won't have any mana problem at all so if you are constantly running out of mana with a hero just uh, just get that equipment and you should be all right okay this tower is just attacking me now because i have uh, used okay oh, oh he got away he got away Die, 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 die. Nice. This is what we love about Dr. B. And even people who get away from you, if they are at very low HP, they'll still die, which is nice. Okay. So, uh, coming back now. Okay. Now I'm going to get the next item, which is going to be Venomous Staff. So, that way we'll be countering Agran pretty efficiently. Also, let's get this tower as well. Okay. Constantly. Oh, no, I missed. So, constantly keep using the second ability if... Uh, if you have a teammate or even if you don't have a teammate just constantly keep using it the reason for that is as long as you're okay finish him off nice i had to do the flash with uh, this guy of all people and we had to go in and finish i think i'll i'll go down here yeah it's just i put myself in a very bad situation trying to get that kill and uh, Ogran came from behind and he pushed me towards their side and right now I don't have the healing so this is where I said uh, you have to consider the fact that Ogran is a very overpowered hero and uh, Dr. Bian is pretty underwhelming at times uh, like if it's like 1v1 or something like that of course Ogran will have the upper hand but overall uh, Dr. Bian will nullify most of uh, Ogran's effects that is what we are looking to do here we are not talking about directly uh, like head to head one on one counter here but we are talking about uh, a hero that can completely nullify the effects of uh, ogran in a fight okay stay within my range please so i can uh, keep healing you up and it's a very good thing for us uh, to keep our uh, liu shan healed up too it's you might think it's not going to be as effective but you will you will be able to see that it works wonders okay heal up Oh man, see I I keep putting myself uh, myself in a very bad situation, it's like I shouldn't be there, but I was there. So, uh, we got a kill under the tower and then all my teammates just ran towards, I don't know who that was, and then Agran came from behind and just attacked me. So, uh, we didn't play that properly, uh, instead of protecting me, my team was just jumping from target to target, uh, trying to get all the kills, but... Because of that I died, uh, but uh, hereafter I should try to position myself better and not try to like go in too deep to deal damage and uh, keep in mind that my goal right now is to uh, be the healer and the one to nullify the enemy. Oh man, he took the gold bro, it's like 150 gold or something from that one vanguard and he just took it. Okay, it's okay. Let's just heal him up. Okay, okay. Now, the venomous stuff is here, so the anti-heal is working. So, next time if I attack him, 
he will not be able to have his maximum healing okay he is here he is coming okay let's just have better positioning this time not gonna go directly in but rather just gonna stay outside the radar and look at that we got the kill on him double kill as well all right alain who is who still fighting who is still fighting okay it's our ragran okay okay let's go let's let's heal up our guys here luang as well now come on come on let's heal them all up okay five stacks on ogran oh he needs healing yeah he would have died see we saved him right there our own ogran and let's keep up the healing so that okay there our gran is coming okay i think he doesn't realize that i'm cancelling his healing by a lot but let me just keep up the stacks for the teammates that are near me and okay so uh, luang has two stacks the others have three and our gran has two so next fight is going to be very good for us if we fight it together like i'll be able to heal and save Uh, most of my teammates from uh, the enemy agron okay let's get this tower together guys together okay she did do a lot of damage and i have to use my ultimate here let's heal up let's heal up charlotte let's heal up ourselves and we also got the kill look at that charlotte might have been dead okay also agron our team agron might have been dead if not for me if not for my healing okay let's keep up the healing everyone having five stacks now except our marksman but it's okay and now heal okay nice and again the the cooldown is really low i can heal them once again okay hey no being annoying but i can be more annoying than that okay don't let me die please okay nice nice guys nice guys nice block nice block i'll try to heal you guys okay i did but it was a bit late guys sorry about that but i should be able to constantly heal from here for at least some time okay luang is still here and alain is also here we should be able to take him together okay nice we got all of them so see this is what i was talking about nice okay 3 okay 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 let's go get it let's go get the the thingy i, I mean the tower is all right but this is better okay he can get the he can get the tower and then we'll go and get this let me clear mid done okay come let's get uh, the overlord nice now i have the most gold the same gold as the enemy agron so it's not like i'm having a lot of gold advantage over him and that is why i'm able to do stuff against him i'm just healing a lot and you will be able to see the effects of uh, that healing okay stay around me guys as long as you have the stacks you won't die i will heal you it will be so hard for agran to kill them because they'll constantly be healing up oh no marksman oh okay almost he almost lost the stack okay we can we can be we can be together v3 nice nice let's surround him Alan is dead. Okay, he will alt and try to go out, but yeah, he is dead. Ah. Oh, nice execute <laughs> by our support. Nice heal up, heal up. Everyone take medicine here. Free medicine, guys. Free medicine. Okay, now we can happily fight. We will have a lot of healing in this fight. Heal first heal going in. Ogran is trying to deal damage and our teammates are still alive i should be able to heal them once again oh i saved okay look at that our ogron is still alive and he managed to get like we we asked them he asked them that's all gg guys so like i said we did have pretty good teamwork as well but even with good teamwork if ogron's team also has good teamwork it will be very hard for you to counter him but in that case sticking around your doctor bian works wonders works wonders i'm telling you guys did you did you guys see that he wasn't able to deal damage at all at the end if you guys go back and just watch it in slow mo or just watch it you will be able to see that he doesn't deal 
too much damage to my team because he is going for number one he is going for a tanky build which already limits his damage and number two uh, he has to get them to very low damage to kill them and he he is not able to do both of that and he just sits there being cancelled just like that so 15.9 almost 16 why didn't we get the 16 there okay so let's get uh, give our guys our likes and uh, Okay, what is okay? We did the most damage, even higher damage than our own Agrons 28, 27, and the others did their thing. And yes, like I said, Dr. Bian is very good. First, I was also like, How does in my opinion, I used to think that Dr. Bian is the worst hero in the game, one of the worst, top, top five worst, right? How does he counter the best hero in the game? And then we, when we actually tried, and I saw your comments as well, it, it actually works. Not just this match, I'll show you guys my history. I didn't record the match because mid-game we started losing a lot, so I just cancelled that recording. I wish I didn't because that was an epic match, this one. This was also against an Ogran and I completely shut him down with highest damage dealt in my team as well. So it's not just one match, but we were able to do that multiple matches. And then this was another match where i was not able to win but again see we did 30 percent damage and we uh, against agron that was pretty good my gameplay was pretty good but overall we did lose the match and yeah that's going to be it for the video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video